Hi everyone, Danny here for Do It Tech. In today's video, I have another beautiful tweaks to share it with you guys. With that being said, let's get into it. All right, so the first tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be the messages plus plus, and what is that tweak is going to be providing you with? It's going to be add some extra stuff into your messages application, and I'm going to be showing you guys first of all how you can set that under the settings. Okay, so under the settings, the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak. And then after that, you have some stuff that if you want to customize it. So if you go here right now, you can see there is the uh, transition type here. If you want to change that. And then also you have some customized stuff if you want to go through. After you're done from that, I'm going to be showing you guys how is that is going to be looks like under the message application so if you go back to the message application i'm going to be just open it right now so pretty much it's going to be providing you with all that kind of stuff and then you're going to be customize that by yourself under the settings so you can just call the person who's uh, message you right away and then just uh, message that guy or you can add anything that you want here you will be found it in the section right there this is what is that pretty much the uh the tweak is going to be providing you with and once you download it you have to make sure to just set some stuff before you use it and there you go guys if you want to give it a try message plus plus the next cool tweak that i have for you guys in today's video which is going to be the favorite emojis and what is that tweak is going to be providing you with under the settings you can just add some favorite emoji that you always use and i'm going to be showing you guys right now under the settings how is that going to be looks like so let me just go right now back to the settings and i'm going to be showing you guys so first of all you need to enable tweak and then after that you, as you guys can see here you can customize or add the favorite list of the 30 maximum 30 emoji that you always use so topping here and i'm gonna be right now open the emoji so i'm gonna be add the emoji that i want to use or that i want to add always this is my favorite emoji and this is gonna be the section that i'm gonna be save the emoji list on us so this is what is pretty much the tweak is going to be providing you with it is a nice and cool tweak to edit in your iDevice if you are like to use the emoji so much there you go guys make sure to give it a try favorite emojis the next one that i'm going to be talking with you guys about which is going to be the full safari and this one is going to be add some tabs once you use your safari browser so let me just show you guys right now if i want to launch my safari browser let me just get back here so as you guys can see here, once you launch your Safari browser, you're going to be to see uh, how many pages that you have. You will see the tops here. So it just looks like the iPad, same thing. So if you want to hold and write, if you want to change that the way you like, or you're just going to be top here, tap back on the same uh, page. This is how it's going to be tweak work on your iDevice. Really nice and cool tweak if you want to set it on your iDevice. Once you download the tweak, the tweak has nothing to configure. It will be work right away when you set it on your iDevice. There you go, guys. Make sure to give it a try. Full Safari. And the next one that I have for you guys, which is going to be the dock. And what is that going to be providing you with? Once you download the tweak, the tweak is going to be providing you with the looks like the OS, the Mac OS style of DAC. So even if you want to put that on your device, like in the bottom, or on the side like vertical the way you like you can customize that under the settings so let's go right now under the settings showing you guys what it looks like all right so under the settings here as you guys can see there is a lot of stuff i'm going to be not going through uh, most of the things here but i'm going to be showing you guys the basic things that you need to do so enable tweak this is the priority enable the tweak and then after that you can lock screen enable that the way you like and most of these stuff and then here if you want to want to go to activation methods so you can just simply top here and then you can go to activator if you install activator on your iDevice so you can tap on the activation method on your iDevice uh, the other cool stuff which is going to be the Mac OS style you can enable that disable that the icon rotation show badges show icon labels and folder icon size so you can uh, use the small the big size of the icons some other stuff that you can go through once you finish everything that week is going to be work right away you don't need to respring your device so the way that i set my dock is going to be a vertical on the side because i like it like that uh, the way you like as i said so if i press here 
uh, as you guys can see I can launch all the applications or all the apps uh, here in the side just like the Mac OS on my iDevice really beautiful and nice uh, set on my iDevice because I really like it so make sure to give it a try under the big boss dot the next cool tweak that I have for you guys right now, which is going to be the vertical video. And what is that tweak is going to be providing you with? It's going to be providing you with a warning sign when you want to switch from your camera into your video option. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I mean here. Let me just go back right now and launch my camera app here. And I'm going to be go right now to my photo, as you guys can see. So if I want to switch to the video, it's going to be provide me with that warning sign there. So what I want to do, I just want to put my phone on the landscape, just like so. So if I put it back on my vertical uh, side, it's like so, it's giving me that uh, sign warning. If I put it back on my landscape, just like so, it gone and you can be allowed right now to use your video recording. This is what is pretty much the tweak is going to be providing you with. And once you download the tweak, the tweak has nothing to configure. It will be work right away once you use the camera application. There you go, guys. Make sure to give it a try. Vertical video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for my channel for more videos. And I see you guys in next video. Peace.